Polymet wants to build an open pit copper nickel mine near the northern Minnesota town of Babbitt with an ore processing operation at the site of the shuttered LTV steel plant in Hoyt Lakes. DNR Commissioner Tom Landmore announced the agency has issued a mining permit. I think it's safe to say that no project in the history of the DNR has been more thoroughly evaluated. The MPCA and Army Corps of Engineers still has to give the project a green light, but this is a huge milestone in a process that began many years ago and pitted environmentalists against miners. I expect this to continue to get a great deal of scrutiny for the duration of, uh, of the mine, the operation of the mine. Governor Dayton three years ago toured the Gilt Edge Mine in South Dakota, which is so polluted it's an EPA Superfund site. The commissioner said that that's a different story than PolyMet. This is a diff different day for mining uh, today, especially in Minnesota. We've got extraordinarily rigorous uh, environmental laws in the state of Minnesota, some of which just plain don't exist in uh, South Dakota. I mean, we've never done a copper nickel mine here in Minnesota before, and it poses unique risks. Aaron Clems is with the Minnesota Center for Environmental Advocacy, one of the groups that's challenging PolyMet in court out of concern that sulfide and heavy metal pollution will reach the St. Louis River, which runs into Lake Superior. It's a virgin site. There's never been any mining there. Um, we're talking about thousands of acres of wetlands that are considered to be of high biological biodiversity significance. A major condition of the permit is a financial assurance package, putting aside up to a billion dollars to pay for cleanup and the long-term impacts of the mine. Now, while this mine is generating some resistance in the courts, still much of the attention from environmental groups now has pivoted away from PolyMet and toward the Twin Metals copper nickel mine, which is planned for Ely near the Boundary Waters. Randy? All right. Thank you, John.